Hey yo, guess who is back in Chico Crypto Black? It's me, and I've missed every single one of you, and I dearly miss providing the best type of crypto content on the tube. The type of content you gotta see to believe. Well, I'm real, I'm here, and our belief is strong. <laughs> You know our intro, it's time for Chico Crypto. Well, since this is my first fully produced video back, let's begin with the king crypto, Bitcoin. Pulling out the chart over the past six months, not the most bullish looking chart, especially lately, but BTC is finding itself at the high 30Ks as of yesterday. And that's not a bad thing in the high 30Ks, it's actually a very bullish thing. Why do I think this? Well, the more that things change, the more they stay the same. I wanna pull out this old chart from May of 2019, two years ago, of the Bitcoin bull cycles from the beginning. As you can see, the price back then in May of 2019 was just above eight grand and in the accumulation zone. I wonder if the price of Bitcoin back then did exactly what was expected. A bit higher accumulation green, a fall into reaccumulation, and then post having an end to 2021 bull cycle. Well, of course it did. The price chart almost matched it exactly. Thus, based where we are as of yesterday in that chart, which has been spookily accurate so far, 38 grand as of 5-24-2021, we at least have another six to nine months left of this bull cycle, as the lengths of the bull markets historically are expanding. But out there, many are shouting at the top of their lungs, bearish, the top was 60K. And what we currently are experiencing with the dip and now the short-term recovery is the bull trap. Like the crypto whale on Twitter, that's his chart, who has a large following, over 200,000 followers. He is obviously a bearish trader, is he correct? Are we in a bull trap? Well, what happens during a bull trap? It looks like the markets are going to make a V-shaped recovery, which could be happening. But I want to revisit another tweet from another very popular BTC trader, Willie Wu, who is the opposite, a bullish outlook trader. He said this about the markets on May 20th, an explanation of why he's still bullish, but he also said this, it's still a bull market. Newish whales dumped out, retail bought a chunk of the dip. Coins getting more distributed. I'll take that as a win. The big question I have is whether we are getting a faster V-shaped recovery or a longer sideways band of reaccumulation. I'm gonna stop you right there, Willy Woo. We should be worried about that V-shaped recovery. That would get my stomach churning. Going back up too fast is exactly what a bull trap would do. We don't want that. What do we want? Consolidation, sideways, maybe even falling a bit more down into the high 20Ks. That would be bullish and as crazy as it sounds, would be more bullish than if the price of BTC was 50K by the end of today or tomorrow. So what's the Chico TA? Tyler analysis opinion of what is going to go down. Well, what we want happening right now is what they call the bear trap. The bear trap happens pre-crazy market euphoria. As we can see from the crypto whales chart, he thinks the bear trap came around September of last year when BTC dipped from a peak of around 12,175 to a low of 10,125 a measly 17% decrease of which Crypto Whale calls this cycle's bear trap. Well, Chico calls that bull crap because that ain't no bear trap. That's just a normal day in cryptocurrency. A bear trap is just that, a trap of the bears. Whale bears don't get trapped with a measly 17% dip. They get trapped by dips of 30% or more. Going back to a price chart of the 2017 bull run, many analysts call the bear trap of that cycle happening between August and September of that year. During that time, a dip from 4,863 bucks to a low of 3,100. It was a retrace of over 35%. But dang, Chico, we are months away from August or September, and we dipped by over 50%. Why so significant, and why did the bear trap happen so early this time? Well, you gotta go back in time to the bull cycle before 2017. 
to the bull cycle of 2013 to the beginning of 2014, the first time I got involved with the asset. Unfortunately, CoinGecko doesn't go back far enough, but we can use this chart with the Pi Top Technical Analysis Indicator. Usually this TA indicator, the dotted orange line, points to a cycle top. But in 2013, there was one that happened before the real top, the big bear trap, which began in April of 2013. BTC crashed from over $230 to a low of 66 bucks by July of that year, a 71% decrease. Yeah, that was a fall off of a cliff bear trap, but the charts show it wasn't over. They picked right back up, breaking 1100 by the actual peak. The bears got trapped back then in that cycle. I wonder if they're gonna get trapped today. Well, I wanna pull out this chart of BTC today and what we're going through compared with the 2013 cycle. Look how close they are tracking each other. Like I said, the more things change, the more they stay the same. We are in a clear as day to me bear trap. Need more proof of the bear trap? The new institutional crypto powers that be want to get the markets moving faster than they should. Dual tweets came from BTC and crypto power influencers Elon Musk and Michael Saylor talking about North American Bitcoin mining and turning it, what do you think, green. And because of this, the pump came, pushing BTC across 40K for a second, but then it slid right back under, settling down into the high 30Ks again. That is good for the health of this run. But that leads me into what we are finishing this episode off with. Who was involved with that BTC mining meeting with Sailor and Musk? Well, Sailor in his tweet thread actually revealed it. Sailor said, yesterday I was pleased to host a meeting between Elon Musk and the leading Bitcoin miners in North America. The miners have agreed to form the Bitcoin Mining Council to promote energy usage transparency and accelerate sustainability initiatives worldwide. Execs from Argo Blockchain, BlockCap, Core Scientific, Galaxy Digital, Hive Blockchain, Hut8 Mining, Marathon Digital Holdings and Riot Blockchain were present and decided to establish an organization to standardize energy reporting, pursue industry ESG goals, and educate and grow the marketplace. So it is true, the top players are really sitting down together to talk about transparency of their energy usage and how to accelerate sustainable uses. Elon Musk, he likes as it's potentially promising, he said. So Chico, who's the company we should be focusing on from that list? The one that Elon sees potential promise in. Well, there is one who is the furthest along on something like that and even has an initial date set for when to get it done for themselves. That is Argo Blockchain and they plan to be completely green, carbon neutral, including all crypto operations by 2030. May 14th, just 11 days ago, it was announced that Argo Blockchain had signed the Crypto Climate Accord alongside DMG Blockchain Solutions. The Business Wire news release said this about the partnership to promote the decarbonization of the cryptocurrency industry. Alongside the CCA, Argo, and DMG are developing a new working group to more clearly outline the Accord's objectives while deploying new technologies that increase the transparency of the renewable energy sourcing of crypto mining. Huh. Doesn't that sound just like the goal of the Bitcoin Mining Council? Sailor said their goal was to promote energy usage transparency and accelerate sustainability initiatives worldwide. Is the Bitcoin Mining Council the new working group hinted at in the Berkshire press release? Well, if so, we've known it. We've been talking about it. We know who the Crypto Climate Accord is. Who's behind it? It's the Energy Web Chain. And scrolling down to the signatories, of course, one of them is Argo. About them, it says, Crypto Climate Accord signatories are crypto market participants that make a public commitment to achieve net zero emissions from electricity consumption associated with all of their respective crypto-related operations by 2030 and to report progress towards this net zero emissions target using best industry practices. 
that is where Elon sees the promise from the Crypto Climate Accord. But how about another little breadcrumb or hint you could say? Another member of the Bitcoin Mining Council listed by Sailor is also involved as a supporter of the Accord. That is Hut 8 Mining. Hmm, <laughs> is all Chico has to say. Cheers, I'll see you next time.